There's a dino party happening right here. If you look under your seat, it's a sleeping bag because we're going to be hanging out here for a minute. <laughs> Normally, you don't want to spoil things, mm. except at Comic Con, you do want to spoil things. <laughs> you know what they say with great power comes great inflatability. Come on, guys. That was great. They wrote that for me. It's right here on the card. They are great conversation starters uh, and sometimes stoppers, you know? Dead in your tracks. That's the coolest part of Comic-Con, is the camaraderie, like you said, our shared nerd vision. San Diego Comic-Con is just such a big part of what we do, but also just being able to interact with the fans again and walk around and speak to real people. How excited are you now it's in this box? Three, Three two, two, one! This is something that you can say you were the first to have, and it's, you know, obviously it has all authenticity, and it's amazing. If you do get all, all six stones, yeah. be kind. No, if I get all <laughs> six <laughs> stones, I will be able to control all the sharks. I spend most of my days locked in a room writing at a computer. It's just nice to be out amongst people who enjoy your work. I just have to live four and a half more years and we can get to Spider-Man 1000. Having worked on Cap like in the early, early days and then seeing him transition from his first movie into the Avengers and then all of the subsequent designs, I'm really proud of the idea of being able to chart that journey over all of those movies. And then the idea of trying to take Spider-Man um, and bring him into the MCU and what, what that was gonna look like. X-Men 97, I mean, just being able to hear that theme music, it's, it like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm like, when I hear it, I'm like 11 years old. Oh, it brings right. tears to my eyes every time. Marvel, well, your universe. It.